All right, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video today. So we are on the water right here, right now. We're in the Ginu, um, as usual. And we are back to uh, like the regular scheduled programming. We're in the Everglades for four days, so if you missed those videos, um, go back and check them out. They're really awesome, really awesome group of videos. There's actually a playlist on my channel if you wanna watch them all in sequence. If you're having trouble finding them, they should be right on the front page. But for today, we're gonna be uh, I guess we'll just be looking for redfish, trout, snook, tarpon, maybe some black drum, trying a little bit different area, fish a big shoreline here full of mangroves, and uh, there should be a little bit of some, do or some docks mixed in there, um, I should say. And uh, we're gonna start off right here with a uh, one of these guys. This is a topwater, this is a Berkeley Jaywalker 100. I'm trying to throw topwaters a bit more. I honestly, in my entire fishing career, way before YouTube, um, I don't throw topwaters a whole lot. I don't know why. I, I, I'm not a big fan of treble hooks in general, mainly because I don't like unhooking fish with treble hooks. I'm a little bit uneasy about it, but we're gonna try today, see if maybe I can pull some good fish on a topwater, get some big blowups. Um, and then after that, we'll transition to another bait that I'm gonna try later and I'll tell you about later. But for right now, we're gonna, we're, uh... oh. There's a shark swimming about 100 feet away from me, and I was like, that's a big red fish pushing awake until I saw its fin. But we're gonna get fishing. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's get started. That was a big blow up. Oh man, that was a big blow up. That had to be a snow. He didn't get it. He knocked it. Hit it again. Man, that was a, that was a good blow up. It had to be a good snook. Come on, hit it again. <laughs> Come on, man. It's amazing, you can have two treble hooks on a lure, catch every mangrove in the world, and a fish hits it, and they don't get the hooks. Tell me how that works out. Oh, it was a nice snook, it was a nice snook. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Got him that time. Oh, that was not the bigger one. There's a few of them under there. There is a few of them under there because the snook I saw was, well, he's probably about 22, 23. This one's only about 13, 14 inches. I'm about to switch it up and throw a different lure under there, I think. All right, we got some something on top water. A little snooky. that out, lay him back in, that'll work, so now let me see if I can just slide back over there and find that bigger one, sitting just to the right of this ladder here, and he might have got smart after I pulled in his buddy, there we go, and well, it shot off. <sighs> kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't even paying attention. I was about to reel in the lure and I got popped. Another like 15 inch snook, not anything I'm uh, honestly looking for, but I enjoy the blow up, so can't complain. Water is clearing up just a little bit. I'm feeling like that is why I'm starting to find more fish. I'm getting those blow ups. I'm gonna keep moving my way this way. There's some nice mangroves, a really low dock up ahead, which I really like. Let's keep moving. Oh, 
heard something big blow up here a minute ago when I was getting my lure unstuck from the trees. Can't see though with the glare, it's so bad. Oh my! Big snook! No, 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 no! Big snook! Big snook! Big snook, big snook! Oh my god, he's hooked with one treble. He's hooked with one treble. Oh my god, man. Oh, what a freaking eat. What a freaking eat. That was the fish that blew up. That had to be the fish that blew up. Oh my god, my heart is thumping. <laughs> Heck yeah. What a nice snook. He's hooked with like literally one treble hook. So if he comes off here, I... Huh? Well, I hooked him good. He does only got one treble hook in his mouth though. Alright. Oh, that is the reason... I don't really like treble hooks for fish thra thrashing like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can just shake this out of his mouth here, get it out of the way. All right, lure's out. Fish is just an absolute nice fish, man. Nice fish. I don't have my camera set up in the back today for safety reasons, but uh, that is a nice fish. So I can't really show them to you very well, but I'll lay them on the ruler here guess is this fish is about 31 inches so tails on zero back there we'll bring them up here that was pretty close 30 on the dot nice snook man beautiful so we'll go ahead there is a dolphin hanging out behind me so i'm going to try to shoot this fish off towards the trees here beautiful fish beautiful Ooh. All right, so that fish is going to shoot off right here. I'm going to watch this dolphin here. I do not want him chasing after him. All right, he looks like he's he's uh, not aware. Fish swim off this way. Heck yeah. What a good fish, man. So that was on the Berkeley Jaywalker 100, a little bone topwater there. So freaking sick, man. I was up in those trees because I got stuck. Or I got hung up on a tree there. And I heard a nice blow up and I said, oh, I got to get out of here and go over to that fish. I did. I didn't, I threw, I felt like plenty of casts right there, right on top of him. Didn't find a bite. And then I was just drifting there, saw a real hard, dark shadow. Tick, tick, boom. Hit it once, missed it, and then got it. But really, really nice fish. Luckily, I had 40 pound leader here. I'm going to have to tie up the fresh leader. 40, it's the uh, same leader I was using in the Everglades, so... It works and that is so exciting man what an adrenaline rush with a fish like that eating feet from the boat incredible oh there we go came off right off the tree oh man oh that genuinely almost went bad probably a 20 20 inch snook there just sucked it down right off the tree there i was tight on him that tr <laughs> i was pulling back on it that <laughs> well let's just say trouble hooks came back at me like 50 miles an hour luckily i think i used the rod tip to block the lure nice little snook keep going though get it snook just didn't get it awesome now too shallow rolled up on him that was a decent one probably maybe 20 inch or so but popped it loud Thank you. 
Oh, nice snook. Oh, he missed it. Oh, got him that time. Man, they are chewing. They are chewing today, man. Oh, I got this one. So I actually, about five, six minutes ago, I hooked a nice one, landed it a little bit bigger than this one. I wasn't even recording. Just got a nice blow up there, found a nice one off this tree. So they're stacked up in these, uh, well, I guess they're just, they're mostly sticks. I wouldn't even call them mangroves or maybe, they're, just, they're not mangroves. They're just dead sticks. They're loaded up in there, man. And they are chewing. They're just not even, I'm not, whew, it's not like I'm even seeing any that aren't eaten. I'm just getting eats. All right, this one doesn't look like a super fun one to unhook so I'm gonna grab some pliers and uh, I need some help here we'll pull that right out another nice snook another one about probably 22 inches a lot of them man a lot of them they are chewing today I'm gonna send them right back up into the trees here because once again I hear a dolphin hanging out behind me waiting for me to swim a fish over to him I'm going to try to not let that happen. So, wow, just right off these sticks here. Man, they're just chewing. Looks like I need a fresh leader. This one's frayed up quite a bit. He got that one kind of deep. All right, so just let go. Uh, I think it's technically my fourth snook of the day. And I uh, figured I'd just kind of mention the setup I'm using today. Fenwick Elite Inshore. Like I've said before, these rods are not out yet. You'll start to see them in stores in the summertime. Uh, we got a Penn Battle 2500DX. You guys can get those in pretty much every store. And uh, then we got some 20 pound spider wire braid and some 30 pound leader. I used 40 a little bit earlier, but I decided to switch back up to 30 pound uh, mono leader here. Just because the sun's coming up a little bit, I wanted to switch to something just a tad bit lighter. But we're gonna keep tossing this uh, top water around. If they're gonna continue to eat it, I'm gonna keep throwing it because it is a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, I don't even, I don't even know where that fish came from. Where is he? Where'd he even go? What the heck? Fish just blew up a bait right in front of me and is quite literally invisible. I don't know where he went unless he hit it and immediately took off. Gotta be a snook in here somewhere in these big, big trees. Come on, where is he? There he is, there he is, knew it. Come on, come on. Keep him tight here, he's got the trees to work with, so hopefully he goes left. Nice fish. Oh, don't jump in the boat, don't jump in the boat, boy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're chewing <laughs> Oh man, they are chewing. I was saying, man, there's gotta be one right here. These sticks look so good. I threw it what I thought was a log. Looked like a good area to make a cast and it was actually a fish. Took, looked right up and bang, clapped it. All right, man, these snook are chewing. A little bit of an overcast, breezy day, and man, they're just like not missing. All right, got him. Got him. Let's see if I can pull this out of here. Pull this out of him without getting hooked. All right, all clear. And that is another nice one, man. Another nice one. They're just loaded. This one, I'm going to say about 24 inches. Got the tail about on zero. He's, well, I'll give him 25. Another nice one, man. Just loaded today. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Send you off on your way here. Pointed back up to where you came from. We don't want that dolphin to mess with you. Right back up there, man. Wow, incredible day so far, really.
It's got to be one of my best topwater days of my life, if I'm being honest. They are just smoking it. Wow. Oh, big snook followed it back. Oh, big snook just followed it back, and then a big blow up up on the trees here. Watch this. Put it right there. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, the leader got hung up on. tree <laughs> oh I've never done that before <sighs> I knew that snook was in there I knew there was one up in there and I threw and threw and threw and popped I eventually got my lure stuck right on a tree oh he pulled off right there <laughs> line was hanging on a tree lure was sitting right there in the water so I just jig 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 make that lure bounce up and down up and down up and down boom snook came right up in there and popped it <laughs> lost him though I think he only had one treble hook that is incredible <laughs> so crazy too it's like it's inches deep there I mean inches and he's sitting right up in there in that dirtier water oh incredible Oh, oh my gosh. Spooked him, man. Oh, man. Nice trout. At the boat, man. At the boat. <laughs> oh my Q. First one was a snook. Next one is a trap. Wow. Oh my gosh, what a day. What a day. The first one that blew up on it, or swung on it, I'm not quite sure, I kind of lost track of what was going on there, was definitely a snook, because he about flew out of the water to eat it. Then threw it back in there, kept working and kept working, and right there at the boat, ate it. Crazy. Crazy. Really nice trout. How cool is that? I was feeling like one was going to show up sometime soon. I was feeling it. Go ahead and pop this. There he goes. That was a quick and easy release. Didn't touch him. All right. That is always a good thing to do with trout. There's not a lot of them, especially on the East Coast. Try not to touch them. Try not to bring them in the boat. If you can, just unhook them, shake them in the water, and let them go. But wow, fish are just chewing, chewing. I didn't even, I didn't even see a fish back there. Just a bunch of sticks in the water, threw it back there, tick, tick, tick. Snook came up and ate it, missed it, threw it back in there. Found me a trout. Really incredible. It's just a really solid day. Got to be my best top water day ever surely it's like a, every single fish or, uh, well i can't see them but i'm assuming every fish that sees it is just eating all right guys figured i'd take an early lunch today since we've been absolutely whacking them it is now 9 30. we got some ham and cheese staked out just chilling wind's picking up quite a bit but i'm not too worried about it right now because the water's clear i'm finding fish but i was thinking about one thing in the everglades specifically I went down there I met a, met a few people like at the ramp and stuff they all watched my channel which was really neat so it made me wonder like I meet a lot of the people that watch my channel it's like everyone I meet um, at a ramp or everyone a lot of people that walk by me not trying to sound like uh, I'm trying to like brag or anything but I meet a lot of people like at the ramps and in stores and stuff and I'm just really interested where are you guys from leave down in the comments because I, I can't see that I can see a majority of my audience is from Florida South Carolina North Carolina Georgia Texas Louisiana but I just can't see exactly. So if you guys could just do me a favor, leave down below in the comments what city you're from. That would be really neat to see where everyone's from. But 
For right now, we are whacking them. The wind's picking up quite a bit. I'm not sure how much fishing, how much more fishing I can do. If they're gonna keep eating and I keep finding them, we'll keep fishing, but if this gets blown out, I'll have to start uh, wrapping things up. But we've been whacking them today, absolutely whacking them. But let me knock out this ham and cheese and we'll get back to fishing. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do right now, because I moved back into a little deep canal here and I've seen some tarpon, I'm gonna switch over to the other lure I've got with me today, which is this guy. It's a lure that'll be out in the summer as well. It is really neat, made by Berkeley. I wanna put it to the test here and see if I can find a tarpon or a snook back in this deeper, deeper, muddier water. Never caught anything with this, but I'll test it out. Wow, that looks sick. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's something small. I don't know what it is. Going right down the middle of the channel. Little snook. Got him out in the open. I was ready for a tarp in there. That is my first fish on what I'm pretty positive is called a stick shot. I'm not sure if that's all set in stone because this bait is unreleased. Whoa, 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 chill. You're bleeding a little bit here, buddy. All right, we're gonna let you go. I'm not exactly sure why you're bleeding at all there. It's just got you in the wrong spot. There he goes. He should be fine. He literally right in the middle of the channel I'm seeing tarpon roll. They're just rolling down this uh, mangrove line, so I'm making real long casts. Twitch, twitch, twitch. And he ate, but I'd like to add a tarpon to the mix. Come on. Oh, there we go. Little guy. Got him in a... What in the world? <laughs> 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 That's ridiculous. Saw a big swipe on my lure, felt something pulling, and bam. This little guy got hung up. Sent him on his way there. We're finding him still. We're finding him. I think the sun has came up now, and I think that has somewhat slowed down the bite. Now, I might have just gotten to a hot spot earlier where I was whacking them like one after another. But I'm going to keep trying here, seeing maybe if I can find a decent sized fish on this uh, Berkeley stick shot. I put down the top water. I don't think I'm gonna pick it back up again now. It's blue skies for the most part, it's sunny. It's not the ideal bait. We're gonna try this real flashy, flashy twitch bait here. So let's keep it going. Let's find something. Bunch of trout right here, I think. Oh, oh, nope, they were just about 20 little tiny snook. I can't believe how many snook there were right there. They were all about this size, too. That's good to see. I don't complain about the little ones because one day they're going to be big ones, right? Send him off on his way. Keep looking. Oh, snook just shot out of there and tried to eat that. Big fish right there. Oh! oh my god! At the freaking boat! At the boat! Stay with me. Stay with me. I can't tell how good he's hooked, but he ate it right there. Literally under the boat. Oh my God, that is a fish to end the day off on right there. Gosh, I saw him under the tree and it looked like the, the branch of like a mangrove. And I said, nah, it's a little too thick, back's gray. Twitched it, he chased it all the way back, ate it under the boat. Incredible. Man, whacked him today. We absolutely whacked him today. This guy looks like he's about a 26 incher. What a beautiful fish, man. Oh, all right, let's try to do this nice and easy, bud. Oh, 
freaking incredible. Almost got you, bud. Almost got you. Whew. All right, I'll give you some water right there. How sick, man. That is the fish I've been waiting to end the day off on. <laughs> so sick. Beautiful snook. I'm going to send you this way because there is a dolphin right behind me waiting. I'm going to send you off real shallow here. Send you that way. All right. Heck yeah. I'm going to watch this dolphin play defense. There he is over there. Snook's going off that way. All right. What a freaking day. Yeah, here's this dolphin right here. Yeah, I'm going to cut you off, buddy. You're not going to get that, Snook. Incredible. On that uh, Berkeley stick shad. I think this is about a three-inch man. We've just been catching everything today. And it, the sun is right out too. I mean, fish are eating well. Today has just been incredible. All right, guys, and just like that, I'm gonna have to wrap up today's video. We genuinely, honestly, whacked them today. And at first, I was thinking, well, we're throwing top water. We're uh, we're getting a lot of eats. It's cloudy. Um, that's probably why they're just they're chewing. It's a little windy. It's a little bit, you know, weather's not like you know perfect so they eat pretty well when the weather's a little bit you know rough um, so I was thinking man they're eating well today once the Sun comes up I'm gonna have to run on home it's just not gonna work and then the Sun came up switched over to the little uh, Berkeley stick shad and they chewed I caught three or four good ones on it or three or four of them on it one really good one to end the day off even poked around a little bit longer for a redfish or maybe even a bigger snook um, to even beat out that one but I'm just, it, it slowed down on me and I'm just not finding a whole lot so far or in the past like 30 minutes, I'd say. But I really enjoyed this video. We absolutely killed them. I mean, I've, I don't think I've ever had a topwater day as good as that one. We caught the 30 incher, caught a couple, I think in the 24 to 25 inch range. And we just had an absolute, or I had a blast um, today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, watching this video as well. Tried out some lures that I don't typically use that uh, typical top the dog or top, top walk the dog style bait it's a berkeley jay walker 100 and then the uh that's an unreleased berkeley stick shad which is going to be a beast i really like it it had a very interesting buoyancy it's like you twitch it it would go straight down straight down uh twitch it would shoot left to right and then you stop twitching it and it would float right back up very quickly and i really like that because if, when you're fishing real shallow waters like this you know you're twitching maybe you hit the bottom ones you can stop it real quick goes right back up and keep twitching it over a branch and things like that so i like that and um, I think that is it. I, I appreciate you guys watching today. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit the red subscribe button. And thank you guys for watching. Um, that's it. I will see you guys in that next video.